Now to the case against R. Kelly. Dramatic testimony late this afternoon from another key witness. This time, the mother of the alleged victim at the center of the child pornography case. And a warning, some of the testimony is disturbing. CBS 2's Tara Molina is live outside the courthouse. Tara. Erica, this woman is going by Susan, and she's the mother of the pivotal witness in this case, Jane. Testifying here today, she denied knowing anything was going on, any sexual relationship between her then 14-year-old daughter and Kelly when Jane started spending more and more time with him. Again, we want to warn you, some of this could be disturbing. Susan, taking the stand for the first time, promised anonymity. The sketch of her in court has been obscured. Susan testified she and her 14-year-old daughter met Kelly at a local high school where Jane was performing, introduced by her sister, Jane's aunt. When she learned her daughter had asked R. Kelly to be her godfather, Susan testified she felt kind of strange. When asked why, she said because she knew her sister told Jane to ask Kelly that. Last week, Jane testified it was shortly after she asked Kelly to be her godfather, their relationship became sexual. Susan said her daughter started going to Kelly's house a lot with his wife and kids, mostly on the weekends. When asked what she believed Jane was doing at the house, Susan said movies, shopping, hanging out with the kids. Prosecutors say Jane and her parents were paid and threatened by Kelly and his team so they wouldn't testify at the 2008 trial. Susan spoke to those threats, detailing the meeting arranged in Oak Park, where she says she first learned of her daughter's sexual relationship with the singer about two weeks after the Department of Children and Family Services reached them. Susan said at that meeting, Kelly asked her and her husband, are you with us or are you not? And felt that meant they were going to harm us, saying she felt both fearful and frightened. They were sent out of the country by Kelly and his team right after that meeting. When asked about the grand jury she lied to after getting back from that trip, Susan admitted she did not identify her daughter Jane in photos and videos shown to the grand jury, even though she knew it was her, but did identify R. Kelly. In cross-examination, Kelly's lead attorney asked Susan about a number of visits she made alone to Kelly's recording studio after meeting him, directly asking her about an intimate relationship she had with Kelly. Susan denied that intimate relationship and said she was making those visits to talk about business and get advice from Kelly. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.